Scrappy Friends. I am sharing with you a process that I did a couple of years ago <clears throat> uh, for shimmers. I posted this to my Instagram, so I will make sure that I share it. Uh, I link to that post, but I never um, did the process video. And oh my gosh, ooh, you see me. Um, <laughs> That's hopefully no one has epilepsy here who's watching. I don't know if you guys can see the shadow, but this is my hand uh, rolling the different colored um, bottles because I drew this out on my own. <laughs> and now I'm going to take some of the sprays and put them in that little palette and and stuff. So I'm using a few different colors here and let's see if I can remember all of the ones that I used. So because I tried to go the brown route with these but I do know that I used um, like a bronze I believe. So I think the one up at the top is bronze bron bombshell. I believe I used Okie Dokie. That is not a spray. That one's one of the ones in the little jars. So I'm going to take, I am going to say this is a little bit more of a tedious uh, process. So hopefully I don't bore you with my talking and I will try to explain what I am doing, which is why I'm kind of at this point just going to try to remember all the different colors that I use. Um, I want to say that one right there is treasured, um, like treasured him or something. So I don't have a lot of the ones that are more of a neutral color, um, just because I don't use a lot of browns and stuff. But this was the perfect time to pull out some of those browns. I also got some of the scarlet and I used a little bit of that red in there too. So this is obviously a fireplace and I am going to just take some of the darker colors and outline a little bit of each of those bricks. So I did use a ruler. <laughs> to try to get my bricks mostly straight but I did try to like corner them and like because not all bricks are perfect especially in a fireplace where it's older so you know like some of the edges are to are cracked or you know aren't all the way straight and so I did try to do that but I wanted to have some darker lines on the tops and the bottoms of the bricks because I wanted each brick to be pronounced and I wanted you to go oh yeah that's a brick you know so I think even that color might be a little bit more of a red color but I did try to mix some of the colors too so um and I did do this all using shimmers products so it was super fun I will say I did pull out a white because I tried to use some of the white back then but I don't think they had like angels wings or something or I tried to use angels wings and it I just couldn't see it so I did dab a little bit of my own watercolor white but I should have used acrylic paint because I feel like that probably would have looked a little bit better and you might have been able to see it so that is one of those things with like um an art journal page like this where you're doing a lot of watercolor if there's a color that you are trying to get especially white is really hard when you're doing watercolor because it doesn't always show up white it kind of blends in to the other colors so you could thin down some acrylic paint but we'll talk about that when we get to that point because I'm not really there yet because I'm gonna go through and do each of these and on the insides I do like little swirly marks and stuff so this is one of the things this one had a little bit of red in it like brown and red because I did want like so this is mimicking the fireplace that's in my living room and it these bricks have a little bit of red tinge to them on the inside so I was trying to get that look 
<clears throat> and I thought by like doing some swirls and doing some darker spots, I think the hard part that I had is that even though I was layering them, some of the colors I really wanted to stay more there and pronounced, but because you're watercoloring, it's not like they just set. So these set a little bit, like if you let them set, and I did not do this all in one day, definitely. Um, I mean, this video is like 19 minutes almost. So it took quite a while. I just worked on it at nights. So I took a couple of nights and I drew the fireplace and, and, and the inside of the fireplace was the hardest part because I was trying to get it to look like you could see on the inside. And I don't know, I'm not really sure that part turned out really good, but I like the rest of it. So yeah. So let's see if I can figure out what color that, um, because I know, yes, so it's called Treasured Him, and that, that brown, that bigger brown one, so it's, it's a spritz, so it has, it's mostly just the color, but it does have a little shimmer to it, but it's this, like, really nice, neutrally brown, a light, it almost looks like chocolate milk, which is weird for a spray. But it was one of the perfect colors. So it's one of the antique colors that they have in there. And I know there's some ladies who do some amazing stuff with those colors. I, however, don't use brown that often. So this was a good way to use some of those colors that I don't often use. I might have even used a little bit of copper in here too. That might be the one that you see right there. A penny for your thoughts. So... I absolutely, like I said, love how this one turned out. It's one of my favorites just because it, I got to really play around and try to do something different and try to get, you know, like actually set out to do a certain type of thing. And so, yeah, I mean, it's always fun when you can do that kind of thing. Like I've done, uh, leaves and stuff and I played around with that but to have like the fireplace was really fun I'm actually gonna open it up so I can look at it it's like I've done quite a few of different type of themed things and it can be difficult when you have something in your head and it doesn't really turn out but this is part of the thing that I like about art journaling is that there is at the end of the day there's this thought that it is for fun so actually i i think i took some of the paste and used a little bit of it to make white on mine i'm, I'm looking at it so um yeah <clears throat> So now I'm taking some more of that black, that penny for your thoughts. I know that's penny for your thoughts. It's like a coppery bronze color. And, um, and I'm going to put more of that in there. And I really just layer all of these. So, because like I said, a lot of it, the colors were blending together. So I'm doing it on there, kind of pressing on it and, and stuff and I really had to do this multiple times to get the look I really love how it turned out it turned out really fun um but it definitely took a lot of time because there was a lot of building of these colors it's like putting it on seeing oh whoop I took too much off let's put more on and and oh I use that darker color now I need to use a little bit more of that reddish color again and so and like I said I do have like a a red scarlet scarlet's fever and I think I used that spray with some of the browns just a little bit because you if you mix too much then and and I I played around with different colors throughout this so that I could get just the colors that I wanted and that's one of the nice things about shimmer stuff is that you know you can mix some of those sprays and some of those colors in a palette and you can get a lot of different colors. I also tried to use like I tried to use more of the non-metallic colors but I did use some metallic in here 
um, like I think that's the white that I was trying to use and it just, I did end up having to pull some other white in there later. I don't think I showed that part on because it looks, either I took some acrylic paint or I took some of the paste and just put it on there later. Because I tried. I used this. And it just didn't give me that defined look. It just. It wasn't the look that I was looking for. Which happens sometimes. Right? <laughs> but. I'm sure if I had really kept layering it. I could have got more of that look. So here's more of it. And then here I'm taking. Um, some different colors of the browns and really just mixing them together and I think I have a palette up I have a round palette palette too and so that's where I mixed them and this is a little bit more of a wood grain <laughs> color it's I feel like on this video it's kind of hard to tell but when you look at it in real life you can see that it's more brown than the bricks the bricks have like a lot more red tinges to the colors and some darker also uh, like bronzy colors very muted bronzy um, but I wanted to make sure that I did that that mantle part that is brown and then I'm gonna go back in and color with the green I think I used um what green was that cuz I love to use it it's keep palm that's like my favorite green it's like this really nice dark green and then so and I finish off with some silver paint and some white on those boughs but we'll get there not quite there yet so yeah there's me mixing some more of it just a little bit for that top part mixing the colors and I just found that with this you just gotta I did add some of the black type colors to to this to the inside and then later on I'm not sure if I did it a little bit but later I did go back and use I have a charcoal pencil and I just kind of use some of those and I actually put some of the charcoal pencil on some of the bricks too and that just kind of gave it more of that it looks a little dingy but you can kind of see some of the work that I did on the inside it just gives it more of that like oh there's stuff there but it's 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 filled if that makes sense or you can't see it really <laughs> so now I'm not sure if I showed me putting on I don't think so I did end up at the very end put so here is that green a little bit of that keep palm and I'm not sure what other color I think I mixed something else with it from that jar and um, so now I'm just making the the lines for the the boughs the evergreen boughs so I had a hard time with this because I wanted it to look like it was multiple pieces or something. So like I tried to do both sides on some of it, some of it just one side. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't quite look evergreeny, but that's okay. It does enough. <laughs> this is one of those times where you have to be okay with it not being perfect. And, um, but it is fun to, like I said, to start off with something and just really have a vision and this try to accomplish it. And then you see how you're, you try to make the products that you have work for that image that you have in your head. And yeah, it's not going to be perfect, but you definitely can get there if you try really hard. Um, yeah, so... In the end, I absolutely love how this turned out. It's one of my favorites. And I think because I put so much time into it, um, you know, I worked on it throughout the Christmas season. It was one of the ways that really helped get me into that Christmas season. So, it's like, it was just already a weird Christmas season for us. Um, we weren't sure if we were going to be spending 
Christmas all together. And so, um, so it was just a nice little thing to like help get me in the spirit to work on it throughout the month. And then I was able to post it when, when I was done. So, and share it. And it was super fun. So I will end up putting some like, um, silver. So I'm not sure what silver I used. It was probably one of the inklings. Whoop. And of course there I get some of that, that red. This is me also like trying to figure out different colors because I'm going to add some of the reds to here now. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that was the Scarlet's Fever color. It's a really deep red. It's really pretty. But it has to be mixed with brown because otherwise it doesn't look it. So like I said, I just kept working. I just kept building layers. And I think something like this, that's really what it is about. It's a letting it dry, coming back saying, oh no, I need a little bit more of this color. So you add more of that color. <clears throat> so, and like you see that paper down at the bottom. That's really what I did. I was just mixing the colors little by little and figuring out which version did I want for this because I really did want it to have those red, like bricks don't look all even. They have like these different colors and to try to get that in a watercolor is difficult, but is very much doable. You just have to build layers in there. And, and it's like, I could have kept working on it for sure. But at some point you have to say, okay, I've worked long enough. <laughs> and it's, you know, it isn't going to be perfect because it's watercolor. Like, but this is how you learn, right? So, and I think that's what these art journal pages for me are, is about really learning how to make these, how to make something look like something and how to get it where you want it and, and all that fun stuff. So, so I'm just building more layers. <laughs> I am almost done though. So, uh, well, there it, you get to see all the close-ups. I will just play music because, you know. But here's some of that silver. And I'm just going to do all those hooks in silver. And I think I put a little bit of silver on the bows. But I also go back and use a little bit of white on there too. So you will see that in the finished product. And I did add stockings to those hooks. I thought it would be really fun to add the stockings. And I made sure the stockings were all in the same way, even though the hooks do not all go in the same order. <laughs> They're not facing the same way, but that's okay. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be sharing some more Christmassy um, stuff this month in, of July. Um, and so I hope you guys look forward to seeing some Christmas in July stuff. I'll see you guys later.